and today I'm going to tell you about all the series that I wish that I could read, but I can't. Before I get into listing all the series that I wish that I could read and why I can't read them, I want to make sure that you know that Books from K's is a charity. We donate books to missionary kids all over the world. If you want to donate to the kids, then you can do so at GoFundMe.com. There's a link right up here and down in the description, and there's a button at the end of this video where you can donate to the kids. I actually just had a new uh, missionary family sign up today, just a little while ago. And I'm thinking, oh my goodness, how am I gonna handle all of this extra, <laughs> you know? So every donation is really appreciated. As the charity keeps growing, we need more and more donations coming in. If you've been watching my channel for a while, then you might have heard me talk about a series ban. I have a series ban where I am not allowed to start any new series until I finished some of the old series that I really need to finish. In my planner, I have a list, oh boy, of the series that I need to read. And it is quite a lengthy list, let me tell you. Let's see. There are, there are 38 different series that I still need to read. These are series that I have started, at the very least, the first book, and I just need to finish out the rest of them. So I color in the ones that I've read and then when I finally finished it, I color in the uh, box, the box to the side <laughs> to show that I finished that one. My goal for 2019 is to finish eight of those series. But until that happens, I'm on a series ban. And there are a lot of series that I wish I could read, but I just won't let myself <laughs> because it will snowball and I will get bogged down again with more and more series. A couple of years ago, that series list was something like 52 series. So little by little, I've been finishing them up and I've been pretty good about it. So I made myself a list because you guys know how much I love lists of books that I want to read, but I can't. And I just kept making the list and I kept making the list and I ended up with 97. 97 series that I wish that I could read, but I can't. Oh boy. Okay. Let's just go through all these. All of these are series that I own at least the first book. Most of these I own the entire series or I own at least the first couple of books in the series. Some of these I own actual physical copies. Some of them are on my Kindle but these are the series that I won't let myself read yet. Since there are 97 of these, we're just gonna kind of try to go through them really, really fast. These are not in any particular order, they're just kind of, here they are. Abhorsen by Garth Nix. Squire's Tales by Gerald Morris. Dragon Chronicles by Susan Fletcher, and the first book is Dragon's Milk. The name of this book is Secret by Pseudonymous Bosch, something. Sphinx's Princess by Esther Friesner. Friesner? Midnighters by Scott Westerfeld. Peeps by Scott Westerfeld. And Leviathan by Scott Westerfeld. Inda by Sherwood Smith. Heist Society by Allie Carter. Sea of Trolls by Nancy Farmer. Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard? Aveyard? I don't know. All Four Stars by Tara Dyerman. The Wrath and the Dawn by an author that I'm not even going to try to say their name because I don't know how to say it. Healer and Seer by Victoria Hanley. The Clady Journals, which starts with Wolf Tower. The Dedinan Tales by Michael Scott, which starts with Wind Lord. The Flora Trilogy, which starts with Segunda, Flora Segunda. Fable Haven by Brandon Mall. And the Beyonder series by Brandon Mall. The Crestomancy Quartet by Diana Wynne Jones, and the Dalemark Quartet by Diana Wynne Jones. The Magids series by Diana Wynne Jones, which starts with The Secret, The Deep Secret. This next one really hurts my heart. Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard by Rick Riordan. I own all of these. I started buying them as soon as they were published, and I just can't read them yet. 
The Cain Chronicles by Rick Riordan. This one hurts my heart too. And The Trials of Apollo by Rick Riordan. My heart is in pieces. <laughs> Reawakened by Colleen Houck. I own every book in this series, even the novella, and I can't read them. Isle of Swords by Wayne Thomas Batson. The Rhythmatist by Brandon Sanderson. Girl of Fire and Thorns by Ray Carson. The Books of Elsewhere by Jacqueline West. Hex Hall by Rachel Hawkins. The League of Seven by Alan Gratz. Paper Magician Trilogy by Charlie Holmberg. The Prince Warriors by Priscilla Shirer. The Princess of the Midnight Ball by Jessica Day George. This is another one that hurts my heart. Renegades by Marissa Meyer. I want to read it so bad. So bad. Oh. The World of Solace, which starts with The Mark of the Dragonfly by Jale Johnson. The Merlin series by T.A. Barron, which starts with The Lost Years of Merlin. The School of Fear by Jitty Dan Dan Danishvari. Author's names, who knows. The Magician's Trilogy by Lev Grossman. And the Thursday Next series by Jasper Ford. Onward to page two. All right. The Encourageable Children of Ashton Place by Mary Rose Wood. The Bliss Bakery by Catherine Littlewood. The Theodosia Throckmorton series by R. L. Lefevers. The School for Good and Evil by Soman Chinani. The Starbound series, which starts with These Broken Stars. The Last Dragon Slayer by Jasper Ford. Storybound by Marissa Burt. The Precious Stone Trilogy by Kristen Gere, which starts with Ruby Red. Dragon Slippers by Jessica Day George. Serafina by Rachel Hartman. How to Train Your Dragon by Cressida Cowell. The Blackwell Pages by K.L. Armstrong, which starts with Loki's Wolves. The Hero's Guide to Saving Your Kingdom by Christopher Healy. Here There Be Dragons by James A. Owen. The Fairy Tale Reform School by Jen Kalanita. Half Bad by Sally Green. Talon by Julie Kaga Kagawa. The Custard Protocol, the first book is Prudence by Gail Carringer. The Winner's Curse by Marie Rutkowski. The Luck Series by Jennifer, Jennifer R. L. Armentrout. Okay, that was a disaster. The Malediction Trilogy, starting with The Stolen Songbird. Mechanica by Betsy Cornwell. Gilded by Christian Farley. Dream a Little Dream by Kirsten Gear. Serafina and the Black Cloak by Robert Beatty. Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. Oh, this one hurts my heart too, because so many people talk about it and I feel left out. <laughs> and another one where I feel left out, The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater. Oh, I want to read it so bad. <laughs> Passenger by Alexandra Bracken. The Magnificent Devices by Shelley Adina. Alistair Grimm's Auditorium by Gregory Funaro. Alexandra Fry Private Eye by Angela Graff. Insanity by Cameron Jace. Rebel Bell by Rachel Hawkins. Sherlock Academy by F.C. Shaw. The Green Ember by S.D. Smith. Magonia by Maria Headley. The Others by Anne Bishop, which starts with Written in Red. Air Awakens by Elise Kova. A Study in Charlotte by Brittany Calavaro. The Green Glass House by Kate Milford. The River Man by Aaron Starmer. And on to page three. We're getting there, we're getting there. Okay. The Curiosity House by Lauren Oliver. Agatha H. and the Airship City by Phil Foglio. The Lyra Novels by Patricia C. Reed. The Weaver's Riddle series, which starts with Mist and Whispers. The Accidental Pirate's Voyage to the Magical North. The Book of Ivy by Amy Engel. The League of Unexceptionable, unaccept, wait, no. The League of Unexceptional Children by Giddy Daneshvari. The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden. The Invisible Library by Genevieve Cogman. Arrow of the Mist by Christina Mercer. Sand by Hugh Howey. This is another one I really want to read. Nova Kids by Jenny K. Brown, starting with Poppy Mayberry, The Monday. Tales of the Windy by Erin Michelle Skye. And finally, the last one, Jed and the Junkyard War 
by Stephen Bowles. And those are the 97 series that I really wanna read. Please leave me a comment down below and let me know, are any of these series ones that you're just like, don't even wait. Forget your series ban, read it now because it is completely worth it. Or are there any of these where you think, actually you could just read that first book and then not even read the rest of the series. You know, sometimes the first book, it doesn't end on a cliffhanger or anything. It's, it's kind of its own story and it would be fine just to read the first one. Please let me know down in the comments because you could really help me out. <laughs> Please subscribe, thanks for watching, and remember the right book in the right hands at the right time can change the world.